Scorpio, this is your reading for April. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other and see what is the next major shift or big change in your life here. Here in the angel guys of the most high. Please give me the cards here for Scorpio. Look at that. Okay, you guys have the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Wands that is showing up for you here, Scorpio. So. You're fighting for something. Let's see what this is. I feel like it has to do with someone in your life, in your family here. Ooh, you guys are thinking about it too with this hangman energy. Ah, I see. You guys have the death card coming in. Oh, you are demanding respect here, Scorpio. You're done playing games with the Ten of Wands here in the past. Woo, and then the Ten of Swords that is crowning you. You see, ooh. We're going to have to talk about this, loves. I see. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Your cards. What What an interesting spread. Okay. And there's that five of wands coming out again. Okay. Right there. I know I got the light up just a little bit. So I'll show you guys the cards. Let's go ahead and get some supporting messages out here, Scorpio. Let me tell you. You're, you're having a difficult uh, bout. A difficult uh situation going on okay or with the five of wands that that showed up for you guys you guys may be doing a lot of brainstorming since we see the hangman as your uh card first card coming out here you guys are doing a lot of brainstorming you're going within trying to find answers within yourself here but i do see that you guys are becoming more clear and what you're seeing you're not liking i'm feeling that with the nine of swords energy that's showing up in the future energy here you guys aren't aren't uh liking what you see but you see that there needs to be some change you see how this is crowning you here um the ten of wands the ten of swords that's on your mind and the nine of swords in the future energy here okay let me tell you, we're going to get into that, but let's see what uh, other supporting messages. There we go. That inner wisdom that connects with that hangman energy for you here, Scorpio. You also have the way coming in. Oh, look, Pisces almost got the same thing. Two cards that Pisces has. So some of you guys have may have may have Pisces in your chart. If you have Pisces in your chart, definitely make sure you go over and check out that reading, Scorpio. Okay, so... Spirit is letting me know that some relationship, some connection here. It could be a romantic one. It could be one with a uh, family here. Since we saw the Ten of Pentacles coming out, it could be your child or ex uh, outside family, extended family that you guys are dealing with here. Or it could be a work situation here, okay? But the lovers and partnership card is coming out for you. So there is some significance here when it comes to uh, some partnerships that you guys are dealing with, some relationship that you are dealing with that you're trying to find balance in Scorpio uh, but you're also not playing any games you guys are smart as hell you're not going to be played uh, as the fool you're you're not new to the game here Scorpio that's what I'm feeling and you guys can see <laughs> see through people like glass that's what they just said to me or you're seeing the situation very clearly here okay you tried to play nice with someone. You tried to give someone the benefit of the doubt here. But the stinger is coming out, Scorpio. That's what I'm definitely feeling about you guys. You have uninhabited that is coming into your reading. Your card says you are unbrilded, erotic energy. I was going to say exotic. It said erotic energy in its purest tantalizing form. So someone here in a relationship, I feel like they they feel like you are uninhabited here, okay? That it's difficult to, let me tell you exactly what I just heard. It's difficult to pull the wool of, over your eyes. It's difficult to fool you. It's difficult to get you to uh, believe the words that are coming out, out of their mouth. But they know that you can see them very clearly. It's very intimidating to this person. Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. But spirit is just reminding you that you are unbrilded erotic energy in its purest tantalizing form, having the ability to help others release 
fears, even sexual fears, and be more authentic in their uh, expressions or sexual expressions here, okay? So someone still has that emotional, um, sexual, or uh, feeling for you here, okay? This could be a relationship or a romantic one that you guys are dealing with, a lot of you here, okay? Someone still finds you very alluring, but they also find you very mysterious as well. Like, how did Scorpio know that? I didn't tell them that. Or how did they figure that out? You can't get anything past Scorpio, period. Okay, you guys have humanitarian that is coming in. Look at that. <laughs> Sunflower, okay, over her eyes here. Your card is saying you're a voice for the voiceless to create reform and change relying on the divine to guide you and protect you from harm's way they just don't know it they don't know it they don't understand it here scorpio whoever this is they feel very protected under you but i also feel uh that you are possibly tired of this person's games or the games that they play here okay whew. i feel like some of you guys want to be happy in this relationship because that's what you're really focused on with the four of wands that's coming up here you want stability and a connection in a relationship in your home and your heart but I, I feel like you're struggling with this person here some of you guys are going to make a big change there's going to be a big shift. You're, you're going to be changing things in this connection. I feel in some way here, Scorpio, some of you guys are pulling back from this connection with whoever you are dealing with. Like I said, it could be a work relationship. It could be a, a romantic relationship. It could be a relationship with your family inside your home or outside your home here. Okay. But I feel like you are ending something here with that death card. You guys, you're... Oh, they're saying go here. You're tired of being the nurturer in this situation here. You're feeling like you want to be loved too. I deserve love. That's what I feel like you guys are saying. I deserve love and I damn well deserve respect and I'm demanding it. I want it now. Okay. A life changing gift is the influence of a nurturing woman or man that provides love, support, protection and encouragement to teach others to grow and develop here. You're, you've tried to do this in this connection here. You've tried to support someone, but I definitely feel like you're at your wit's end here um, and you're tired of being stabbed in your back with this ten of swords energy. Some of you guys are like you you've you've outstayed your welcome. This is enough. Okay, you've outstayed your welcome. You've used my energy of enough, my my mental energy. You've used my uh, the help that I have extended out extended out to you. Uh, a few, uh, oh my God, it feels like they've used you too much here. Okay, for their own benefit. But spirit is saying you are a warrior and you have an option. You have options here in love. You have options here to be happy, to be content here. You do with the four of wands that's showing up some of you guys are dealing dealing with a twin flame love relationship romantic relationship here and it's a very difficult relationship all twin flame relationships don't last some of them are very beautiful though and you guys meet each other at a time where you have completed a lot of karma and you're ready ready to get together and it's a beautiful union here but i feel in some way you guys are struggling here okay struggling with the ten of swords the four of wands and um the five of wands ten of swords five of wands and the four of wands you're struggling to get that stability i'm seeing it here in this row but spirit is saying you have a warrior spirit not afraid to face conflict and you're not here you're not afraid to face that conflict like you want to play with scorpio i don't think you really do okay because scorpio will win every time that's what i'm i'm hearing here they're saying that you are not afraid to face conflict and challenges while at the same time remaining committed to a path of goodwill and fairness so you're trying to be fair you're trying to do things the right way you're trying to still be a good person and nurture some connection or some relationship but the wool will not be pulled over your eyes you're not going to be used and abused and taken advantage of okay i'm definitely feeling this you're seeing that this person is uh taking advantage of your niceness here okay with the ten of swords energy and you want things to be fair 
okay you want things to be fair so i definitely feel like you guys are um you're possibly going to end something that's the big change that's coming in you're ending something here either you're pulling back from a relationship or you're going to voice your opinions and how you feel here and it's going to be you're going to be heard that's what i feel you guys have inner wisdom coming in wood energy you have the key to the solution that's what spirit is saying to you you have the key to the solution and damn it you will be successful because you know how the game goes with a, a magician card the six of wands and the three of wands that's showing up things may look complicated and out of reach but subconsciously here scorpio you know what you have to do that's what spirit is saying don't uh, don't allow fear to impede you this fear right here this nine of swords what's going to happen if i let them go what's going to happen to them if i stop being the nurturer if i stop caring for them if i cut their ass off what will happen to me okay that's what i feel like you guys some of you guys are saying spirit is saying don't allow fear to impede you don't let your mind play games with you here okay meditate on your question here and Reflect on life experiences, hangman energy, and lessons to be found. That's why you have the hangman energy. Some of you guys need to pause to think about your relationship, gain a new perspective. Some of you guys need to speak with people that don't know your situation but can give you valuable advice here to move forward or how to handle a situation here. You don't want biased opinions. Okay. that's why i said speak to people that don't know your situation here maybe they can give you some advice um due to their own experiences and their own wisdom from uh they may have had a, an experience like yours okay and what you're going through here so some of you guys may need to speak with a counselor okay or someone that you feel you can trust here to gain a new perspective here someone that is outside of your situation and knows nothing about it okay so you guys have the star seed that is coming in that's why you have this higher knowledge that's why you have this inner wisdom you guys have outer worldly wisdom that's what i was trying to say to you your uh, spirit is saying you are a traveling soul from another planet here scorpio who incarnated on earth to inspire and heal human beings but that does not mean you got to let somebody run over you or you spend all your time not saying that you guys do this okay but i feel like you are a big supporter of people that you choose to support here okay and some people you fall in love with or you have very deep uh feelings for it or you have a very close relationship with them okay but i also feel like scorpio with this hangman and this death car you're not afraid um, or you won't hesitate to cut them off if you have to, if they're causing too much, uh, damage in your life. But spirit is saying that you were incarnated on earth to inspire and heal human beings here to be this humanitarian here on this card and to participate in planet's evolution. They don't want you to forget that energy and they don't want you to forget who you truly are okay you guys have the way coming here so the way will be shown there's something else that i'm feeling here but it's going to be shown by you taking a moment of silence to think about um what's really going on in your life here with this hangman energy that's showing up for you patience is needed right now at this time okay and you guys may be in this state of limbo that's why you see this hangman hope hanging upside down the I, what i really feel is that they're telling you to pause on the situation here don't move don't go any further with someone okay take this time that you're uh putting a relationship or a situation on pause to reflect and that's what your other cards are saying as well but spirit is saying you are in the right place at the right time by just standing still okay stay grounded avoid extremes don't snap okay <laughs> because don't take the stinger out because it could change abandon false praise and people will be truthful shun formality and people will be sincere forsake cleverness and people will be kind to each other let's see what other messages they have in regards to oh, here we go okay you have the mirror coming in that's that 
twin flame energy with this four of wands here you guys could be mirroring each other if you if this is a relationship that you are tying this reading to okay so they're saying you disrupt you disrupt disrupt things in order to enable people to see themselves and that's what i said to you that you show them something here scorpio that they are not ready to see so you enable people to see themselves differently and begin to heal the ultimate mirror here okay that's what you are to this person you are the ultimate mirror let's go into your reading so we talked about the hangman energy that's coming in here and spirit wants you to uh really stop and just hold on and, and think about what is happening in this connection pause for a moment okay and they're saying that this pause is going to be worry uh worthy excuse me worthy and useful uh, to gain clarity that's why you see the hangman's head illuminated here okay that you're going to gain inner wisdom here on your next steps of, of where you should go three of wands energy that's showing up how you should handle uh someone or some situation that may be feeling very stressful to you here okay mm. let me tell you you're gonna win um, you're going to be you're going to be on the winning winning end here when it comes to this struggle here you try to put something behind you you may have pulled back a little bit in this connection already in the past energy with the ten of wands that's what I'm seeing you may have stopped putting so much time and attention into some relationship here but now you may be seeing someone not giving the effort that they were once giving and now you feel here Scorpio that this person didn't really value your time and your attention and your love in the first place okay and you're feeling uh like you now you have to completely change and possibly release them ten of swords energy the death card that they're showing me here okay you're you're feeling like there needs to be a complete change a big change within yourself in your mindset and how you think about this person in this relationship here that's what i'm seeing and you need to part ways and go your own separate way and bring an end to uh this connection here is worrying you it has you up at night possibly it has you very frustrated mentally with the ten of swords that's showing up for you here okay but spirit is saying you haven't lost anything you've only gained wisdom here okay every situation that is hard is not going to leave you in a very difficult position here it's on, only going to make you stronger and wiser here as you move forward so take that lesson along with you the six of wands is definitely letting me know here scorpio that you're going to have a, a beautiful victory here to your troubles Continue to believe in your power magician card here, okay? And give out the highest energy of all, which is love. Continue to be that loving person that I'm seeing. Continue to be the nurturer, to be the humanitarian, to be the warrior, to embody this star seed energy. Still give out that beautiful energy because the energy that you give out comes back down towards you, okay? Mm, that's why you have as above so below here spirit is wanting to remind you to still give out beautiful energy okay because that that's going to seal the deal in your success in your life here scorpio okay that's what i'm seeing for you guys so focus here on your own stability focus on your own energy at this time focus on what's going to make you happy focus on cultivating peace in your life and continue to plan for your um for your future here three of wands four of wands that's coming in here okay for some reason i wanted to say four of swords <laughs> um but i did it okay that's how i'm feeling here so I definitely feel like the met next major change, next big shift or major change that's happening with you guys is you releasing some stress or some burden in a relationship that you had with someone here. Don't be afraid to do this here. Just like your inner wisdom card is saying here Scorpio don't allow fear to, to impede you on what you're truly trying to manifest in your life some of you guys want a solid relationship a solid connection with people here and you can have it but you also have to go through a pro process of elimination when it comes to relationships that weigh you down that you feel used and abused and taken advantage of in 
that's what you have to end okay that's what you need to focus on here in april and that is your reading here scorpio i hope you guys got a message from your reading make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in your next reading take care bye